a spoonful of spooky fun in every bowl. Booberry is a whimsical way to start the day. Kitty. Made with whole grain corn. Booberry combines blueberry flavored frosted cereal with colorful marshmallows to create a delicious cereal the kids and adults can enjoy. Each serving of this playful monster themed cereal is low in fat with no cholesterol or saturated fat. It's also a good source of calcium, whole grain, and nine other essential vitamins and minerals. Okay, I'm totally seeing this still insanity. 153. Blueberry back again for 2022. Well, this is the extent of my collection. Bird, did you try it? Or are you just sticking your dirty tail in it? This is the year of the call of box. I'm going to predict next year they're going to pick a different artist. They had Jim Lee do the art uh, for Blueberry. Other DC artists did the box in, in, um, back in the day. I think like 2013 and 2017 was all the same DC box. But I predict they know the Faniverse is into these characters. And I think they're going to pick a different artist each year. Maybe they'll do some kind of promo figures each year. Big G has to know the importance of these cereal mascot monsters current year. Anyway, my whole point is I don't think Calls is going to be in the box again in 2023. Also, I'll reiterate my prediction that... Fruity Yummy Mummy shows up instead of Fruit Brute. Anyway, you've seen the box. Go to Monster, callsmonsters.com. Monsters 426 for your chance to win. Contest ends, deck one. I've been confirmed a winner. We'll see. We'll see if they actually mail it. I want you to see his bow tie on the custom. Whatever. Okay, this is my favorite of the cereal monsters. And as far as I can tell, it's like my second favorite cereal ever. You had a box of Reese's Puffs and you mixed it with this. Mmm. Feels like a jelly time. Anyway, what's up? Alright, back in the day, Funko Pop number three in the Ad Icons line. Looks like this. 2011. It's a pricey piece current year. Now they came and they uh, updated their Funko Pop. Number 35 is this. Not only did they make them uh, eat some... Eat, eat it! Eat your own cereal, dude. Can ghosts eat cereal? Obviously, obviously. Mm, but they also changed the color blue. Okay. Ah, oh, these are the best marbits ever. Okay, and then this is, uh, this is this. Came out last year. A very old school wacky wobbler. Blueberry is hard to find. The soda that we're drinking. The Pez. The Dorbs. The Dorbs rides. Of course, he has a hearse. Uh, I did a whole video on those. Halfway to Halloween, Serum Sanity. He is a hearse. Count Chocula is a literal coffin. Let's talk about this custom. Because I hate the fact that I had to make it. I hate it so much. Because Funko and their big 10 inch pop vinyls. They ruined two franchises, in my opinion. They made the giant Count Chocula. I showed you that in. 151, Giant Frankenberry 152. I've since modified the eyes on each of them, and they made zero blueberries. They decided not to even do better. Your set of three. I'm not even talking about the Megan Enhanced Remix Extended Cut with Franken with uh, Fruit Move, Burr, 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 Yummy Mummy. Okay, I should have done them too, obviously, since the original Funko Pops of those two, which I don't have, don't have, are you know hundreds of dollars on eBay. Great reason to have done Giant Pops, but first. 
could you have done a giant blueberry? Nope, they didn't. They didn't. Uh, Mom and Sandy likes to say, well, they still could. No. No, they would have done it by now. Okay. So your boy made a custom. Not only but also in the Disney Haunted Mansion. Okay. There's three hitchhiking ghosts. Ezra, Phineas, and Gus. And in these giant pops, they did only one Ezra. This, if you haven't figured it out, is Ezra. I had to... I guess you could say the first thing I did is I took the hat out of his left hand. Super easy, barely an inconvenience. Just throw on so throw some heat on it. It is a separate piece. You gotta cut one little dingle off of it. And then I just slapped it up there with hot glue. Uh, the next thing I did is I went ahead and inverted his... I took his right hand off with heat. I think I can show you this. It's a separate piece. So when he's hitchhiking, he has it like this. I don't know why, but I want to give him a thumbs up. So, I fixed that. Then I had to take the paint off the mouth. I did not take the paint off the eyes because he just had big, white, dumb, dead Funko eyes. I took the paint off the mouth, repainted the mouth. I probably could have done better on the mouth. I could have got it a little bit swirlier, but you know, why well, try harder? Because the whole time I'm hating doing this. I hate the fact that I even have to do this. There's three hitch I can go, make all three. There's three main major. General Mills Serial Monsters make all three. Why, why is that not the obvious thing to do? Uh, but anyway, then I had to paint the eyelids, eye brows, and pupils. End result, it looks like that. Oh, yeah, I had to paint the bow. The bow was... I, I, like, I like the... I like the bow! I basically don't like the rest. But, you know, his eyes turned out kind of like this. I think this is my reference. I painted his, you know, fedora or whatever it is. Bowler hat. Okay, the hat's a little different, but the fact that Ezra even had a hat, and it was removable, okay, that was easy. And, whatever, it's done. The most obvious thing is that, you know, he has legs. Well, maybe Boo Bear in some instances has legs. Otherwise, when it's on the, when it's on the toy shelf, I'm gonna just put them little guys in front of it. It's in the dog! And try to cover them legs. Anyway, he's a fan of blueberry. Real mad Funko didn't do the giant pop, and they also didn't do the VYNL, which is doubly weird because they did the VYNL of Yummy Mummy and Fruit Fruit. So that set will forever be incomplete. Ten things here, eleven things in the other two. Very cool. No. This video is already long in the sweet tooth. But I wanted to say, because I've been thinking so much about it. I, well, as a kid, I used to always think, what's the deal with ghosts and zombies? Because the zombies like the undead, reanimated corpse, basically, without a soul. And the ghost is like the disembodied soul. I was like, wouldn't it be funny if someone did something, like they animated something with, it, with, the, uh, with a ghost and a zombie that were the same thing, the same human, once upon a time. You know, maybe they are their roommates or something. Maybe they maybe they're trying to reunite to be a, a human. You can you separate the soul and the and the carcass. Anyway, they're all thinking, well, you know, ghostly blueberry is just a soul. What about Frank and Barry? You know, are they brothers? Could they actually be the same person? Because then I lead me down this rabbit hole. Like, is Frankenstein a zombie? And you got to conclude he is not because. Although he's a reanimated corpse, he does have a soul. And then I was thinking, well, you know, what's the deal with golems? And what's the deal with chimeras? What is the deal with Frankenstein's monster and his buddy, Frank and Barry? Who made them? Who made them? I want to know. How is he related here? You look at old commercials like Count Chocula and Frank and Barry. They are scared of Boo Barry. Who's revealed to be their neighbor? He just moved in. This needs to be a movie, okay? Maybe at some point he has to move into the monster mansion with the other two because he got... He got evicted. Basically, he was the neighbor, the living neighbor who died. He died, okay? His house is up for sale, Beetlejuice style. He can't keep living in the house, so he, instead of being in that mansion, as a ghost, he decides to move next door with a, with a Frank and Barry and Count Chocolate. But anyway, I'm thinking, you know, a golem is, a golem is basically a creature come to life. A golem has no soul, but imagine, that, imagine we piled this up and went, ah, you know, magic spell voodoo curse or something and it came to life that would be the golem you know like a, a trashy pillsbury doughboy 
I think I think it was a golem. Okay. By the way, Peter Lorre voiced uh, uh, Poppin' Fresh PBDB as well as Blueberry. So a golem, yeah, a golem. Uh, you think of a rock golem or something. You think of a, whenever they make the Statue of Liberty come to life or something, that's a golem. But then a chimera. I was thinking Frankenstein's monster is a chimera because it's made. It's made from parts and pieces of different organisms, different humans. Throw in a little strawberry, throw in a little pizzazz, throw in maybe a little bit of clockwork machinery. He's a, you know, an organic mechanic. Chimera. What was my point? Most likely I did not have a point. I just want to know. I just want to know how it all came to be. Could a chimera made in the Frankensteinian style, could it possess more than one soul? How much of a body is required to retain the soul of the initial organism? These are things I want to know. Otherwise, we're done. We're out and we're done.